video you know what i'm saying i hope everybody had a great day you know i had a great day i made some money so you make it you make it some money it's always a good day um i don't really know what i want to do i just want to talk to y'all um yeah i don't really like to plan my i mean i have a whole notebook full of ideas for videos don't get me wrong like you can be your girlies on it but when i sit down in front of the camera i could be wanting to talk like kind of let y'all know what's what be on my mind you know what i'm saying and what's on my mind right now is forgiveness that's what's on my mind because when i was younger i didn't know how to forgive like you know now that i'm older it's like i have to forgive for me like not for nobody else for me because if i sit up here and i hold on to bullshit from the past or how somebody did me bitch i'm holding myself back and that's what i'm not gonna do I'm not gonna hold myself back nigga that's out so we're talking about forgiveness and that's gonna be the mother's second word of the day is forgiveness because at the end of the day you gotta forgive you cannot sit up here and let things from the past hold you back period you can't let people hold you back the bullshit they did hold you back you know <clears throat> i had somebody tell me you know because y'all know i'm on my way last journey you know saying a little, little kind of thing you know i had somebody motherfucking tell me that i switched up on them when i lost weight if you know me you know i am who i am big medium or small i am who i am that just goes to show me that that person never really knew me in the beginning like ne never knew me at all because bitch i'm gonna switch up on you because i lost weight what are you talking about, bitch? Like, I'm a humble person, first of all. Like, and at the end of the day, when I was bigger, nigga, I, I knew I was fine. Fine as fuck. My, my parents did that. Thank you, mom. Thank you, dad, for procreating. You know, I wish y'all wouldn't have been so fucking blind. Like, you know, because these are contacts. Your girl can't see. Like, you feel me? I'm Velma. Like, my glasses. <laughs> I need to find my glasses. That's me. I have to fucking wake up and I'm first thing I do is grab my glasses anyway I'm getting off topic but <laughs> like I thought that was some bullshit like nah I definitely didn't switch up on you because I lost weight um that's just not who I am as a person but you know people gonna think what they want to think you know it is what it is let them do them all you can really do is be you you know, I am who I am. Like, I'm a goofy-ass, giggly-ass motherfucker that like to laugh, that like to sing, that like to shake her ass, and I like to learn. You feel me? So, it's like, I've, I've been trying to, like, open my ears a lot more. Like, make sure I'm, like, really hearing what people are saying around me. Like, you know, the people I'm, I hang around, like, I just want them to know that I hear them. I'm the type of person, like, y'all don't know me. I mean, some of y'all know me that's watching this. Because, you know, my family and my friends, they so supportive. Hey, y'all. Anyway, for y'all that don't know me, I'm not the type of person that does somebody how they do me. Like, I get no pleasure in revenge. Like, that's like, ugh. Like, I don't know. I know a lot of people like, you know, I'm about to get a motherfucker back. Rah, rah. Like, bitch. No, bitch, I'm going to let you go about your business because... I'm not a vengeful, like, I'm not, like, I'm just not like that. Like, it just don't do nothing for me. Like, honestly, like, somebody could say something bad, you know, about me. Like, people I care about. Like, you know, because there's been people in my past that I've cared about that really didn't give a fuck about me. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, just because they didn't give a fuck about me don't mean I didn't give a fuck about them. Like, you feel me? And that don't mean, you feel me? I'm kissing ass or nothing like that, but it also don't mean I'm finna go out of my way to be somebody I'm not. You know, it's, it don't mean I'm finna go out of my way to be a hateful ass bitch just cause somebody else is. Cause that's just taking time off my life. Like, life is short. I might be a part of this motherfucker tomorrow, but I wanna be known for showing love. Because when I was a little kid, I was a dick. I was a real asshole, you know? And it's like, I look back on my life and I'm like, damn, I was like this to people because of this. But at the same time, there's really no excuse for how I acted when I was younger. All I can do is try to be a better person today. 
you know, so I let motherfuckers just do what they do. And I'm going to do what I do. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to smile and I'm going to love and I'm going to show love and I'm going to be honest. Like, I, I love that about me. I love that I'm an honest person. Because, nigga, I can say that with confidence. Like, a bitch is not no liar. I'm not a liar. I'm a lot of things. I'm a little petty. You know, I'm sensitive as fuck. I am a cry baby. But a liar? You can't even fix your mouth to say that about Nay. Like, you're talking about life for what? For what? For who? Not for you. <laughs> I won't do it. <laughs> that won't do, baby boo. Like, no. So, yeah, it just don't do nothing for me. So, like, I encourage everybody to kind of just do that too. Like, just don't match energy. Like, when I when I say that, I mean, I feel like y'all get it, but I'm going to break it down. When I say that, like, don't match energy, I'm not saying if a motherfucker, like, is um, neglecting you or, like, not fucking with you to just try to fuck with them. No, like, you feel me? If a motherfucker don't want to fuck with you, wash your hands with them. But if a motherfucker is going out of their way to be hateful, don't go out of your way to be hateful, too. Because it just make you look ugly. It make you look like a follow, follow the leader ass bitch. And, nigga, I just want to lead by example. You know, I just want to, like, do everything that I want to be what I want to see in the world. You know? You know, I want to be different. Like, I really want to leave. I really want to have an impact on this world, like, in a good way. You know, like, all these fucking reality television shows on Zeus and all these black queens beating each other ass and shit. Why y'all fighting? Why y'all not building businesses together? Why y'all not going out into the community and helping these youngsters be better than y'all? What y'all, what are y'all teaching the youth? What are you leaving? What's your print on the world for being a good fighter? Okay, bitch. And what's that? It's like, what is that? Like, okay, like, yeah, you on TV, but it's not all about being on TV. If you gonna be on TV, do something with the shit. Do something with it. Because y'all see this disgusting? Like, I be like, uh, uh, like, I be so disgusted with, like, what I see. Like, I can't even watch that shit. Like, I can't. I can't, like, huh? I don't know, y'all. Maybe y'all feel me, maybe y'all don't. I hope y'all do, you know, because I'm really spitting some real shit. Like, and when I think about, like, my mindset now and what it used to be, because I was a rowdy-ass nigga, like, people don't look at me and see that because I'm I'm a sweet soul, you know, but this was not always May, like, not at all. Like, I've been to jail hella times. I've been in hella domestic, violent relationships. Sometimes I was the cause of them. Sometimes I wasn't. Um, nigga, I used to bit. Nigga, hella shit. Like, hella shit. Like, you would not look at me and be like, nay, you, st- nay, you ain't do that. That's how people look at me like, girl, stop. I'm like, all right. <laughs> all right now, you know. That's why it's like, you know. That's why when I get angry you know you had to really push me to do that because I'm really hella cool. But at the same time, I don't take no shit. Like, I don't let nobody disrespect me. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck that shit. Like, that don't mean that I'm gonna try to say equally hurtful shit. You feel me? You don't have to like me. But watch your mouth. Like, literally, when Nikki said that, I fucked the fuck out of that. You feel me? Watch your fucking mouth when it comes to me. Because there's definitely two sides, you know? But I really tried my best to, you know, keep that side under wraps. Because it ain't cute. Like, you feel me? I'm a lady. I'm a motherfucking lady, okay? I'm a queen. So I'm not gonna be out here acting like no rat. Ugh! Like, I just seen a motherfucking video um, on Instagram for first Friday that be out here in um, downtown Oakland. And I just seen my people out there like, and it would look like it could have been a good ass time, but you bitches is out there fighting. 
I'm seeing booty crack and shit, bitch. Why y'all booty crack on the internet? Because you out there being an idiot. Like, you feel me? I don't know her. You feel me? Little mama, I don't want no smoke. But you look dumb. Like, that shit dumb to me. Like, you feel me? Like, anybody that's out there acting the fucking ass, like, we too fucking grown, bruh. We grown. You feel me? What are we teaching these children? That's so important. So important because these kids is just sucking up everything that they see us do. Sucking it up. Sucking it up. I don't have children. I have nieces. That's it. I got nieces. But I don't even, you feel me? That's a long story. But I don't really have little kids that, you feel me, I be around hella, hella much. But when I am around little kids, I'm not acting like that. I try to watch what I say because I cuss a lot. I'm working on it. Not really. But I need to. Um, I cuss a lot, you know. So I try to not cuss so much when I'm around children because, like, I want to teach them good things, you know? They're like tiny humans. And like, we have to like, just, we have to do better, y'all. We have to just forgive. We have to let shit go. We have to not sit up here and let petty shit, bullshit, get us locked up in jail for fighting or, you feel me, get our hair pulled out and shit. Like, you know, fighting, like all that shit, like, Bitches losing tracks. It's tracks on the ground and shit. Like, that's not cute. You woke up with a ball patch because you was talking shit in downtown. Like, shut the fuck up. Go home. You feel me? Or if you can, bitch, control your motherfucking liquor. Let's start there. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, I just think I'm so fine. You know, and sometimes you just, that's, you gotta, you gotta fucking juice yourself up. Because if don't nobody tell me I'm fine... I tell myself, I know I'm getting on track, but I just want to put like slide that on in there. Give me a slide to the left. We got to slide that shit up in there. You have to talk life into yourself. Like you have to like, Nay, you so beautiful. You are amazing. You so smart, girl. Like that's how I talk to myself. You so smart. Aww. <laughs> Like, you feel me? Like, and I love that. Like, that's how you got to talk to yourself. You got to talk to yourself how you want these bitches to talk to you. With respect. You feel me? Respect yourself. Respect your temple. You feel me? Like, I'm so glad my mama raised me the way that she raised her kids. Me, my brother, my sister. I'm so glad she raised us the way she did because we is not no hoes. We don't be out here just doing like fucking everybody or you feel me just you know we have respect for ourselves you know and i i love that for us you know and i don't judge people like it's your body you feel me if you want to get your shit yo them doing these be down like get them be down you feel me but at the same time like also respect yourself you feel me respect yourself enough to not let no nigga raw dog you and you all know that nigga because these niggas don't give a fuck Y'all, we just got to do better, y'all. Um, we just got to move with love and with light. And we can't let what other people think about us turn us into something we're not. Because then they win. And I don't know about you, but I'm a winner. And, you know, I think you are too. Whoever you are watching. You know, I believe in you. Because sometimes that's all you need to hear. That somebody believe in you. You know, make, make good decisions. Be slow to anger. Because how is that anger helping you? What is that doing for you? Nothing. Now, I do got some, I got some issues. Because I'm crazy as fuck. Like, I'm really damaged. So, like, my girl, she be having to deal with a whole lot of my, whole lot of my outbursts. But she can handle me. You know? And I'm so grateful for that because I've been hurt so much that I am just always in fear that this shit is too good to be true. Which sucks, you know, like I'm in love and I'm happy, but I'm always waiting for the ball to drop because the people in my past didn't know how to love me correctly or didn't know how to accept my love or just plain old didn't want it. You know, I was made to feel like I wasn't enough so much throughout my life. 
and it got to the, it got to the point where I had to become enough for me. Cause fuck if I'm not enough for them, I'm enough for me. And at the end of the day, that's literally all that matters. Like, oh, I'm getting emotional. I'm enough for me. I love me. Ooh, y'all. <clears throat> it got real. I love the fuck out of me because I have overcome so many things. And as much as I've been hurt, I don't hold no hate in my heart for those that have hurt me. I truly and honestly wish everybody that has hurt me in any type of way, I hope they heal. I hope they love. I hope they be slow to anger. Because irrational anger can create a lifetime of chaos. And I refuse. I refuse. Do you hear me? Refuse to be out here wasting my fucking time being angry. Fuck that shit. I am too motherfucking fine to be sitting up here mad. What are you talking about? What I'm be mad for? Nigga, I'm breathing. I have two feet. I could walk. I could jump. I could run. I'm educated. I have both my parents. I'm. I have my siblings. Like I haven't. I haven't experienced a lot of loss, which is why like my best friend passing was really hard on me. Is really hard on me. Um. I haven't experienced a lot of loss. For those that have, I'm so sorry. Because I honestly don't think I could survive half of what the people I know have been through as far as the losses that they have experienced. I don't think I... I don't... I get emotional because I can't even... I can't even imagine... So I just, hats off to everybody who has experienced deep loss over and over again throughout their life. I'm so sorry and I just, I just, I'm hugging you because like, I can't imagine. I just know you a motherfucking G, you're strong. Don't let this life break you. Please. You just know this shit gonna be okay. Even when it feel like it won't be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a okay. It's gonna be all good. I don't wanna make my video too long. Um, I just want to come on here and show my face. And just to tell y'all that you're fucking amazing. You're just so fine. Look at yourself. Kiss yourself. You know what I'm saying? You're just so fine. You know that? Yeah, you know. And um, everything gonna be good. Forgive. Let that bullshit go. Let that bitch, you know, run her guns. Bitch, talk, talk your shit, bitch. Talk your shit. You feel me? Don't even let that shit phase you. Don't let, no, let none of these bitches have no type of control over your emotions like that. What are you talking about? Nigga, fuck that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like... Let that shit slide. Let that shit roll off your motherfucking back, baby. You know? Because you're a motherfucking queen or king, you know? Whoever's watching, like, you're a motherfucking boss. And I'm proud of you. And I love you. And everything gonna be smooth. All right? All right. I'll see y'all next time. <laughs>